Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to Highlights from Hebrews, episode 29. Today we're in chapter 3, and we're looking at verses 12 to 15. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original conviction firmly, to the very end. As has just been said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as you did in the rebellion. He encourages his readers to not turn away from the living God. Turning away from people is painful, isn't it? The word here, epistemy, means to draw off, to move away from, to withdraw, even to induce, to revolt, to separate. Now and again, I turn away from my wife. I find myself, as we're talking, I'm feeling tense, not feeling close to one another. Perhaps I have something against her in my heart. I'm annoyed about something. What happens? I turn away when I when we talk. I don't totally talk to her. I talk past her. I don't look her in the eye. I don't sit facing her. I turn to the side because of guilt, because of anxiety, because of fear. We're encouraged not to turn away from the living God. Why should we? We don't need to. Even if we are guilty, we can turn back and he will accept us. We don't need to be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. And this passage gives us one of the great clues as to how that can be remedied if we are turning away. He says, help one another. Encourage one another daily. Is there somebody you could encourage today? Is there somebody that you you could speak to that might be able to encourage you if you're going through a time where you feel yourself turning away? Let's make sure we do share in Christ, holding firmly to our convictions to the very end. With God's help and with one another, that is entirely possible. Let's finish as always with Hebrews 13, 20 and 21. Now, may the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Until episode 30, God bless you.